Well, folks, thank you very much for joining me today. I've got a very special guest. And when I say a special guest, I mean a really special guest. This gentleman is a former Pakistan head coach, and now he's got the title of the Director of Men's Cricket. Very well, welcome to Mickey Arthur. Mickey, how are you doing? I'm really good, Saj. Thank you. It's uh, it's great to see you again. Great to be back involved in in the in the um, in the the wonderful world. That is Pakistan cricket, so I'm really looking forward to it. Mickey, some would say it's not a wonderful world, it's a crazy world of Pakistan cricket. <laughs> what makes you want to come back? I tell you what, it's in my blood, Serge. When Pakistan cricket's in your blood, it's in your blood and you crave it. You know, it's uh, the emotion, the noise, the colour, the passion, everything that comes with Pakistan cricket is fantastic. The most important thing for me, though, is the talent. There's some unbelievable players and there's a great talent pool there. Mickey, Director of Men's Cricket, it's a big title, big responsibility, no doubt a big salary, but we won't go into that. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, Mickey. Do you sort of take that in your stride or does that increase the pressure on you? No, no, no. I, I, I take that in my stride. It, it, it's what I wanted, Satch, you know. Um, I've got a really good project um, with Derbyshire, and and when when Mr. Seti phoned me um, to to ask me to come back, I've, I, I sit with a four year contract with Derbyshire, and and it's a project that I've got going here. Yeah, I'm in year two of it, so I couldn't I, I couldn't commit um, in terms of in terms of full time, um, but what I can commit to is is having a handle. And on all the running of the of, of Pakistan on the cricket side of it, you know, um, I've appointed a, a wonderful support staff. Uh, I, I've got my hands over selection, tactics, strategy. I've, I've introduced this new Pakistan way. Um, so, so I've 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 got my fingerprints over everything. When the county season finishes, I'm then with Pakistan full time. So it kind of it kind of gels um, really really nicely. Um, and and was the the only way I could I could get involved with Pakistan cricket again. So I think we've we've appointed a wonderful support staff. Um, Grant Badburn is a very good coach. He was my assistant when I coached Pakistan. Um, he was one of our one of the assistant coaches. We've got a fantastic manager in Rian Al Haq who who has a great rapport with the players. We've tried to professionalise all aspects around the running of the of the cricket team. We've tried to make the players buy into the brand and culture and that we that we are are telling them about every day. It's going to be an exciting journey, but we we challenge them. Um, this culture, this brand is going to be something very, very special. And if we can get it right, I think it's going to be very, very powerful. So I'm really happy with the with the people I have around me. I'm really happy with the direction we're taking the cricket. I've got a very good rapport with the, with um uh, Haroon, um, him and I are, are, are aligned in terms of our selections, in terms of where we want to take the team. So I sit here very, very comfortable in the knowledge that with the help of some very, very good people, we can get Pakistan cricket going in the, going in the direction it, it, it needs to. Because believe me, I'm, I, I, I don't rest at night. You know, I, 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 think about, I, I think about Pakistan cricket so much and uh, – and, and I think about what what the potential is, and, and and that just gives me so much energy and so much excitement. Ricky, Grant Bradburn and Maureen Morkel, are they your picks or are they picks by the PCB? No, no, they 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 my picks. I've I've put together support staff. We've got Andrew Patrick in as well. So so they 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 my picks. Those are Rian Rian's my pick. Um, those are guys that I know we're aligned. They're, those are guys that I've sold the brand to um, when I wanted them to get involved. And those are guys that um, I know um, I trust. I know that they're very loyal and I know I can work very, very closely with them to make a difference. Mickey, in Pakistan cricket, success has many fathers, but failure is an orphan. We know that. Um, when things are going well, everyone's happy. Everyone will be saying, "Well done, Mickey. Well done, Grant." When things start going wrong, 
who is going to ultimately take that responsibility? Is it you as the director or is it the coaching staff who are working with the players day to day? No, the, the, the coaching staff are, are, are brilliant. Grant leads a very, very good, good, good staff there. Grant and I are in contact every every day, so I know exactly what's going on at all. But ultimately, you know, I'll, 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 I'll I'm the one that 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 will take the that that will that will, <laughs> I guess will take the wrath if if um if if things don't go well. We'll we'll make it work. I wouldn't have come back. Um, and 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 got myself involved so heavily committed, you know. Um, if I didn't think I could make this work and make it work well, people are saying that there's a concern that you're thousands of miles away, as we saw during the New Zealand series. You're in England working with Derbyshire. The players are with the the coaching staff. How does that all link up? How does it all um, bed together? It, it, it links up very easily, said because you know I've I went over. I've sold the the. The, the brand I've sold the Pakistan way I've sold our culture to to the team uh, I, I spent a lot of time selling the players um, where where we wanted to take the team Grant, Grant Bradburn and I are very very aligned in in, in exactly what we do um, the support staff around me Rian Al Haq is is again fantastic he takes care of a lot of the the, the stuff that we want to implement with the team is not only on the field a lot of it is off the field as well in terms of Professionalizing how we manage them, how we how we how we work with them. So 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 he does a wonderful job, and then the coaches and support staff, the medical team, etc. They all work and are very aligned to to my thinking. So I trust them. When I'm not there, I know exactly what's happening. I know exactly what's going on, and I trust them to do their job. Plus, I'm very aligned with the players. I speak to Bob a lot. Um, I'm all over everything that's happening within that team. And once my season finishes, uh, I'm there hands-on and, 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 and ready, to, re- ready to roll with it. So it works very, very well. Again, I say, Saj, if, it, if I didn't think it could work, I wouldn't have done it because ultimately it's my credibility and reputation on the line. Thank you. Ramiz Raja said um, it was crazy as a clown in a village circus appointing you. You probably saw that quote. What do you think of that uh, comment from Ramiz? No, no, no. I, I, I didn't see the comment, and 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 to be honest, I take everything with Ramiz with a pinch of salt. So, so it's all good. So you, you're not worried about um, a former PCB chairman making such a statement? Said if I was worried about statements that were made against me all the time, I wouldn't sleep at night. I know that I've got a plan. I know I've got a strategy. I know I've got a structure. And I trust the people that that that, that are working with me. Um, so so I'm I'm comfortable that it's going in the right direction. I honestly can't worry about what everybody says, because if you worry about what anybody says, you you're wasting pointless energy because it doesn't make any difference anyway. Um, because I know we're always only one win away from 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 the people of Pakistan being very happy. So 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 no, I I, I don't worry about it. I've got thick skin. It's water off a duck's back. And in fact, I don't even read all the all the comments. Mickey, it's been nearly four years since you last work uh, worked for the PCB with um, with all the, uh, a lot of the players um, that are still involved in the setup now. What did you learn from last time that you brought into this period of um, of the role working for the PCB? But what I learned last time was that the Pakistan players wanted structure. They wanted order, they wanted good communication, they wanted very definite role clarity, and they wanted to know where they fitted in. And once I was consistent with that information and that communication, you get the buy-in of the players. And once you get the buy-in of the players, you've got them for life, they trust you. And that is the most important thing. Once the players trust you, you can do such powerful things with the talent that they have. So... Again, you know, I, I, my first address with the boys was when I walked in was, um, you know, I, I, when I left you, you were all incredible young men who had the world at your feet. I come back now, you've still got the world at your feet, but, you now, but you've now grown from boys to men. Most of you are married and you've all got egos. And I'm here to make sure that we get that channeled in the right direction. <laughs>